Back here on ESPN Bet Live, that Luka Doncic fella, he's a bucket. Minus 175 favorite to score the most points in this final series. He leads all players this postseason with 489 points, averaging 28.8 per game. Jason Tatum is the minus 110 favorite to lead the finals in rebound. Tatum averaging 10.4 boards per game this postseason, highest of any player on either team. But back to Luka. A heavy minus 650 favorite to lead the finals in assists. Doncic averaging 8.8 per game this postseason, highest of any player. Tatum second in that market at 10 to 1. Doncic also even money to lead the series in threes. He's making 3.4 triples per game this postseason, the same as Derek White, who has 3 to 1 odds for the Seas. Aaron? Thanks, Tyler. It's now time to look at some NBA Finals player specials. These are available on ESPN Bet right now, and these are one way markets, which means you can only bet one way, which is the over. I'm going to go first. I'm not going to allow Joe to speak off the bat here. We're going to look at Luka Doncic. Just here to stand, everyone. Just here to stand. (laughs) Luka Doncic, over two and a half made threes in each game of the finals. So this, whether it goes four games, whether it goes seven games, it has to happen in every single solitary game. And it's happened in seven straight games, Joe. Look at this. Boom. No one's stopping him. And then if you think about the Boston Celtics defense, you might as well just let Luka go off and limit everybody else because he can't score 100 points or so. So I like this one. You know, he did it all against Minnesota Timberwolves. Again, seven straight. He's a walking bucket. It's an incredible coincidence that when you're talking about him making threes, the editing happens to be all made threes. He didn't miss a single one there. What? Isn't that the point? What else were they supposed to show? Well, when you pointed out. Him out drinking a beer. Look at him making threes. Yeah, look at him. What else are you supposed to run? Plus 225. I'm sure you don't like it, so go on with yours. No, it's fantastic, Wager. I got good news or bad news for you. You got both. Which one do you want to go with? I feel like you should always start with bad news. Bad news. We'll start with the bad news. Celtics solid defending three-point shooting this year, fourth in the NBA. Do you want the good news? Go ahead. I mean, I don't have an option. Yeah, it's look, I wrote it down and I researched it. It's getting into the show. One thing about Joe, do you see see those notes? That's very important to him. Don't mess with the notes and don't mess with the flow. Eighth most three-point attempts allowed this season. So the opportunities will be there, and you know he's going to be shooting. So if this doesn't work for you, he's going to have a very cold night. Mm, Okay. Why don't you give me your amazing bet that you have lined up for us? Thank you. I thought I'd never have the opportunity. Jason Tatum, we're going to play the scoring prop, 24 and a half. 25 is how we're going to list it. He needs 25 or more in every single game. Now, this was plus 750 this morning. Now it's down to 6 to 1. So the pricing isn't as great. It converts somewhere around 12, 13%, which I think is a very real possibility when you look at Denver, or excuse me, Dallas's wing defenders. They're not great. You're going to have an opportunity to eat if you're Tatum and Brown in this matchup. He's hit this mark seven of his last eight games. Mm. He's going to play 40 plus. You do have to worry with some of these props about blowout potential. Either way, if a team's yeah, getting run, you get your stars off the court, but more than a week of rest, should be able to go 40-plus every mm. single night. And on top of that, playing for the narrative of the MVP here, he's going to get a lot of shots up. Yeah, they ran video of him scoring, too, to just support it. You know, typically, typically what they do. Um, with Jason Tatum, he just doesn't have that dog in him, like a Luka Doncic to oh. me, that I wouldn't be surprised if he finished one game with, like, 20 points and let Jalen Brown go off. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. Let's get to my next one. No, it's that's very what, much here. That's it's very most... much a salting of the bet I just laid out, but, you know. Well, look at this one. Kyrie Irving go over four and a half assists in every game for the finals, 14 to one. So it's it's not very likely this is going to happen, but he did average five assists in two series. He also had six assists, and I can't remember between the two. We had, wait, Clippers first? Then it was, who did they play at the Clippers? Clippers were first, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma second. City's when he had six assists. So I think that he could be a huge facilitator in this. But look, this is a tough bet. It's going to be a tough bet. We're trying to find fun ones for you guys, but 14-1, to 1, obviously not the best price. But I like this. This is the first time in months, if not years, that I've agreed with anything that you've said on this show. Job well true. done here. I think the key angle is facing Derek White, who's an elite defender. Irving has struggled to score against the Boston Celtics. It's not like he's going to get locked down, but it's going to mm-hmm. be a tougher series than most for him. As a result, could be forced into more of a facilitation type role. You laid out exactly. the fact that he was already hitting on a lot of these assists, even when he was able to get his shots mm-hmm. up. So I think you're in a good spot there. He just yo-yos a lot. That's what's a little difficult about the assists. I mean, it feels low at four and a half, but for a guy like Kyrie. Well, I mean, one, though. I, I, I'm aware of the sure. price. Converts I'm aware of the price. Converts to 7%. 7%. Smartest guy. He's like a calculator. You guys don't even you guys don't even understand. Please. All right, Tyler, what else you got for us? 